I'm here to check out a joint where they came up here for the skiing, to brew beer, and to smoke meats, and, well, they've been doing it for 22 years, so I gotta check it out. This is Moat Mountain Smokehouse and Brewery. Firing Thai chicken pizza. After a long day of skiing or hiking, it's just real good comfort food. Make it off brisket, slice it now. The smoked meats are excellent. We love coming here for the beer. <laughs> Drink up. Just can't speak highly enough about it. Everything is scratch made here? Yeah. It's our home away from home. And like everybody's crib, owners Vicki Valentino and Steven Johnson surrounded themselves with everything they love. Steven thought that if we moved to the place where he could ski every single day and open up a brewery, that it would be great. I was a fine dining chef in Portland for a while. Then I started playing with barbecue. Hung out in Austin. And thought, big that's big. what I need to bring back to New England. Yes. Barbecue meatloaf? Thank you. I don't order meatloaf anywhere. It is to die for here. What are we into first? Our Austin barbecue sauce. We got our base sauces. Just a generic barbecue sauce that you're going to fortify. Yes. Whole grain mustard, chipotles and adobo, brown sugar, molasses, Worcestershire, dry English mustard. Almost getting into Carolina now. Habanero peppers, sriracha, chili garlic. OK. Gallon of water. Get this with the immersion blender. Barbecue sauce is done, so let's get into meatloaf. Start with a blend of all steak, ground beef, 80-20, with a little bit of short rib in it. We have the Cajun mirepoix, red and green bell peppers, onions, and the Austin barbecue that we just made. Got it. The man from Worcestershire. And of course, you got to have sour cream. I like the tang factor. Kosher salt, minced chopped fresh garlic, dry parsley, ground black pepper, eggs. Huevos. Panko breadcrumbs. We add the rest of the beef. Mix this up. From there, we weigh five and a quarter pound balls to form the lobes. And then we glaze them with the Austin sauce. Cooks off. About 350 for about an hour and a quarter. So now we're on to our roasted garlic mashed potato seasoning. We roast garlic in olive oil, melted butter, milk, kosher salt, whole black pepper, half and half, and you and your sour cream. Bro. Immersion blender. Red bliss potatoes that have been cooked in the steam kettle. You got to break them up, slowly incorporate the potato seasoning mixture. Right. And then whip them. I dig it. Look at that. I didn't get meatloaf when I was a kid. But I'd go to my friend's house, and they'd have meatloaf. And I'd come back, and I'm like, what is this? It's a gigantic square meatball. Throw it on the griddle. Give it a sear. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Two monster pieces is one order? Well, we send people home with lunch the next day. They're really happy. Our mashed potatoes, our butternut squash, and <laughs> Chauffant green beans. Show off. Bring the whole family down. It's our Austin barbecue sauce that we made earlier. You don't just think one would have been enough? That's great meatloaf. It's so tender, moist, full of flavor. Your Austin City barbecue sauce is wham bam. Then you move over to the mashed potatoes, which have an awesome amount of sour cream in them. Roasted garlic flavor all the way through. Green beans cook perfectly. Your butternut squash cleanses the palate. Well done. Is there somewhere I can take this and just lay down for about an hour and have a nap? We have an in room upstairs. Perfect. The barbecue meatloaf is delicious. The mashed potatoes are incredible. I love garlic, so I'm there. The barbecue sauce, they put on a lot of stuff here, rightfully so. 